Shalom during these days when people throughout the world are celebrating the completion of the Daf Yomi cycle, learning all the Talmud, a page, a Daf a day. We're here with Rabbi Adin Steinsatz. Shalom, Rabbi Steinsatz. Hello, Yoni. Hello, uh, uh, everybody that, that happens to, to see and listen to this, to this interview. So, of course, many are uh, familiar with your revolutionary project of the commentary, the word-for-word -word commentary of the Talmud. But for those who aren't, tell us about your amazing uh, commentary project. This, this project of, of, of writing, it's not, it's a, it's a translation, it's a commentary, it's a punctuation, it's a vo vocalization. It is uh, uh, lots of additional, uh, additional work. Uh, see, it's, 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 it's uh, in, a, in a certain way, when you see the page, and I hope it is not, it's not frightening, but the page has so many different forms and so many different, different fonts. In, in, in doing it because it each of them has a specific a specific uh, meaning and a specific purpose in itself and the, bas the basic idea is to to give some something that a person can do what I call it in the, in the past to have that's I would call it a portable teacher you see you you usually have to go to the teacher and learn from the teacher. So the teacher is now portable. You can take the teacher with you as in a book form. And now because it is a teacher and because it is not meant to one person as it is. But also, if I'm trying to, to think about such a person, if I would, would imagine such a person, I would say, I, there may be a whole group of people people that, that have very little knowledge of the, of the Gemara and some people that have quite a, quite a bit of knowledge because the, 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 the same work and that is one of the, of the main parts of the work is to, to write it in a way that, that, that the, the, the youngest, the smallest, the less knowledgeable will understand it and those who are learned and scholars will also get some benefit from it. But it is, if I'm, if I'm trying to be, to be such a teacher to a diverse group of people, people are, are asking all kinds of questions. I know that when you learn as a, a simple, simple fast, you, 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 you hardly get to, into one part of it. But when you write it, or as if you are, sitting and talking to a whole, a whole group of people, say a hundred thousand people, and you try to, so you have to deal with it. Some people are interested in one part, some people are more interested in another part, some people want to, want to understand what they call the simple, simple way, how it goes, but they, they, some, some want to, to, to have a translation, some want to, to get a summary which is there, of, of almost everything that has been written about it. See, the most important points that were written on Alder Hapshat means according to the, the straight understanding without going into complicated, out, out of the way discussions. So about this, so you have a, you have a, a segment that is, deals with that. So to give one, 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 to give an, a notion about how, how big it is. One of these pages of Gemara contains the number of words that is usually in a simple, uh, usual book. It's about eight pages. So, so see, it's an enormous amount of work in each of these pages, which is, and that, that is the purpose of trying to do something that is that in a certain way, everybody can have some benefit of it, bigger or smaller, and that is, that is the main purpose of the thing, to be, to be something that you, you need somehow a teacher. Sometimes you need a teacher because you know very little. Sometimes you need a teacher as a, as a, as a some kind of a, a friend to sit and, and to study with.
Now, throughout the years, there were many different responses to your uh, project. Some felt that it was making uh, the learning too easy. Look, uh, there was, of course, there was some criticism. There was criticism, and uh, in, in a certain way, how dare you write a, a commentary? How dare you write a commentary? And my, my point is, I am not going, and I am not, I am not sure, not proud enough to, to think that I'm going to compete with Rashi. Nobody can compete with Rashi. But there is a point. Rashi wrote to another to, to, an, uh, to other people. What he could assume that his pupils understood is no longer true in our times. People are different people. So in, in one hand they know much less. See? Rashi, for example, in his commentary, he's there are lots of things that he just skips. Why? Because everybody understands it. But in our time, you cannot trust anybody to, to, to understand everything. So that is one thing. The level is different. The, the, the level of knowledge is different. And also the, the ability to concentrate. You see, Rashi is writing. They used to say that in Rashi's time, one, one drop of, of ink cost perhaps a gold coin because he is writing so so in such a short way now I tried not to write too much do over much but at least to write it in a way that it won't need a commentary on my commentary see so that was that was the point so of course it was so I didn't compete with Rashi I tried to to fill up the fill up the gaps that that he left behind him because because as I say he didn't he he possibly imagined that that after he will become will come greater and greater scholars every year they didn't always go this way so that was one thing there were all kinds of other kinds of criticism some of it was things that I I I took as a, any kind of criticism means that if if somebody told me that there is a sentence that is not that is not understood, then it means that I have to write next time or in the next edition I have to correct it. It may be that I have been right and I have written right things, but the main point is that it will be understood. It's not just to, to write in order to show off. That's, so that was one thing. Of course there were all kinds of criticism that were not, that were not, uh, say, correct connected with, with anything but they were they had they were what they were connected with was was a called political financial but but it, it it wasn't pleasant to have it. I wasn't offended because some of the of the things that that were written and said were just about some imaginary figure that wasn't me. So uh, uh, and on the other hand, I mean Okay, it's you. You have to. Uh, everybody has to 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 get it in a, in a certain time. But I I suppose. You see, it cools down. And actually, today it seems that uh, many others are following your way, and also uh, we're seeing more and more projects of of like word for word commentary of the Gemara. I have the 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 nicest way of 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 a, of acceptance and of flattery, because I have so many imitators. When you imitate something, whether it is a, whether it is a, a, a if if you invent a, a, a car, and and you have seven seven models that look like this, it means that you have done something good. And if so many people in different ways do exactly the same thing in one way or another, I mean, better, worse, or uh, but slightly different, it means that that the idea, basically was accepted and people 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 really appreciate it and the people are well, some of them people that, that possibly could say anything about me but they don't say it anymore. But bas so basically I think that the, the 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 main thing was it was it was a, a success in that sense. It had also I would say possibly if if I am a teacher, then I have possibly more pupils than 
and anybody else. And that is the main, main thing that it is, brings more to us. Let me just add one thing to it, which is important. Writing the commentary is not meant to make, to make, to make learning insignificant. In fact, it is the main purpose of it is to make to to make the level of learning higher. Because if you spend half of your time or three quarters of your time of trying to understand what is the meaning of a word or what is the meaning of a sentence, you don't go into learning because learning is a discussion, a deeper understanding. So I'm the, in a way helping people to go over the or over the small things which eventually they will get with the time. But it takes a long time to get it in order to get involved. But I, I'm trying, and I think that I did it, make the level of learning higher in every level it is, whether you are, you are a child a that is a beginner, or you are an adult that never learned, or you are even a person that, that did some learning, but still he finds that he has gaps. You know, I try to fill these things up. So as we mentioned in the beginning, these days we're celebrating the completion of the Dafyomi learning cycle. What are your feelings these days? Any, any more. I'm really very glad. I'm very glad about the Dafyomi in general. I just had the chance to speak to speak about Dafyomi, about the the, the the great achievement that it, it is in general. The fact that people are, I'll put it in two points. One point is that Learning one page per day is not a, is not a, is not symbolic. It takes time. If you do it in an hour or you do it in two hours, but if you do it and you do it every day, it means it is not just a play thing. It's not something that you do, uh, what they call to to somehow to to sh to show that you have done it. It is. It becomes for many people. It's important part of the day. They know that they have to give time for it and they give to it, they give a, an effort to it. Of course, some people may fall asleep while learning. That is not so terrible. I, because some people also fall asleep when they are driving a car. So uh, it happens uh, from time to time. But basically, this is a great thing that uh, of the, not just of involvement, but of, being, of the serious involvement that is in there. There's also the, the other advantage, which is it creates a unity because it's the same page for so many people in so many diverse places. So you, have, you are not learning alone, even if you are alone. You are learning with a small group of other people. It's a great thing when it is done. And knowing, which is very true because I hear it almost with any, any time that I encounter people that say, if, if, it, if it wasn't for your work, I would never be able to do it. Generally speaking, we see that the Talmud is at the center of learning. Uh, in Yeshivot, everywhere, there's all different types of learning, a machshava, halacha, many things, but it's always the Talmud. The Talmud is most of the time. W what basically is behind that? Look, a Yeshiva is basically, basically, it's no longer the, exactly the same thing. Shiva is a high, is a, is what I call a, a, not a high school, but a university for learning Talmud. That is what the Shiva is meant from the beginning. There may be, and there should be, all kinds of, of other places and help for, for learning, for learning other things. I mean, there were, say, in the, in the, in the places where they have, where they, the people learned, uh, learned, uh, what I call Musa. So they had they had a shiur for Musa, and they had a shiur for Hasidus, and they had shiur possibly for other things, and and some people who are learning learning Kabbalah, and other people are learning other other things, and that Bo Hashem, being being a Jew, at least you don't have any any lack of of things to study. But the yeshiva is made is made for that, and learning Talmud is. Not because they have this. See, people think it's difficult because it's it's partially in Aramaic. It's difficult in insight. It is like like learning any any kind of a of a real deep study, and so it takes time. 
you cannot do it. You cannot say, uh, uh, I don't, I want to quote the name of the, f of the man, the famous man in our time. I, I gave him a, a volume of the, of the Gemara, and he said about a week later, I enjoyed, I enjoyed, go I enjoyed reading it. Okay. Nobody can read it in a week. So it's not surely not that best, but uh, because it's not a reading material, it's a real deep study. Now, the fact it doesn't mean that people shouldn't learn other things. And in fact, when, when one is too, too much one-sided, there is a lack, and the lack should be fulfilled. Now, whether the yeshiva as, a, as an institution is the right institution is something else. There's also, because yeshiva can develop in different ways. There, there may be a yeshiva that tries to learn Talmud and more Talmud and even deeper Talmud. I don't see many places now that, that, learn, that learn Talmud to say, uh, that learn much of the Maharsha. Not too many people. I don't see many people that learn Maharam Shiv. I don't see many people who learn everything with, 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 a, with a real deep, deep, deep knowledge of Rishonim and Achronim. Not, not very much, because there is a there is a huge amount. So you can spend surely. Uh, one of my ancestors did. You can study eighteen hours per day for many years, and still not finish everything that has to be known. But it is a study. For some people, it's perhaps too much, and so they have to learn other things. And it's, it's something that's good for their souls to have other, other, other parts of knowledge and it's good so a person has to, to, do, to do it because not everybody, only very few people, rare people can do it to get all the nourishment they need from the, from the Talmud alone. So you need other books and other sources to help you. So that's what is done. But basically this is what the yeshiva is. So after 45 years of really being involved in the Talmud, in the commentary, what can you tell us about your other projects, things you're involved in these days? Okay, it's, it took some time, more time than I imagined. Uh, 45 years is not, is not a little thing, uh, but I, I'm not finished with, with, with work and not finished with doing things. Uh, I plan, I told people, my plans are for the next next 170 odd years to continue. I mean, not to live to 170, but say somebody made the calculation to live to 248 years if I can. Now, if the boss above doesn't, doesn't agree with it, and really and truly I may, I may say that here possibly I may be of some use, in any other place, I don't know what use I will be. So, so possibly I, sh I should stay here. But that is his decision, always, from day to day. But, but basically, I'm doing several other projects now. I'm doing a new edition, which I hope will be good and do again fill some of the gaps, may 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 be better uh, on Mishnayos, which is just. A we are now beginning, we are almost finishing the first Seder. I am trying to do, and again something that is in the middle of my work, a Pirush on, on Tanakh from the beginning to the end, which is again a big project. I am involved in a, in a, a new work, which is a, a work on the Rambam, which is not only a, a, a little bit of a commentary, but also a very basic notion about making the the Rambam and the Shulchan Aruch work together. So, so these these are the big things that I'm doing. From time to time, I'm writing also another another book or two. I possibly manage to write about sixty or seventy. In meantime, so I'm also trying to write more. And still, there is not uh, there is not enough time in the day. And uh, I hope perhaps some of the people that listen to me have a way of, say, making the 24 hours longer 
If they can't, please let, let them send me the, a message about it. Rav Adin Steinsels, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.